Right, here comes another box. The F7 Plus in striking blue. Wow, look at that one. That is looking funky. Let's get out the Dornish. Cobra F7 Plus driver then. So I've got it in this lovely blue finish. Comes in a black or a blue, I think. I do love this blue. It looks very nice. We get these kind of two lines here at the back as well, which look quite nice. Cobra line up line in the middle. Black face, forged titanium face, I think Cobra is saying. Now we're getting a 12 gram weight and two, two gram weights on the bottom. And it's going to give us three positions of the weight. So weight back, weight forward is going to affect the spin and launch a little bit. Spin maybe around 300 revs launch a couple of degrees and you could also put the heavier 12 gram weight if you want in the heel moving the other two into the center to two gram weights into the center that would give it a maybe a bit more of a shape shopped in bias different feel to it as well we get the my fly loft sleeve which we've seen from cobra for a long time gives you lots of loft changeability up in this club but then you get the smart pad on the bottom here from cobra which is allowing you to not have that face opening and closing so much down at address which is only a good thing now this club as well is powered by Acros so it's got like game golf I've been a big fan of game golf and I've been waiting for this to come in clubs for a while to be honest it's got the little thing in the top which allows you to download an app and you can start tracking your data with this club which I think is really clever and good idea from Cobra to start that off I've been waiting for other companies to do that because I just think collecting data on these clubs like I've been doing for over nine years will just help you learn what you need to do with your golf actually to be better um, let's get it out on the golf course as well as do the dry fitting test as well. Let's show you those numbers first, I think, and let's get out on the golf course. So F7 plus numbers, 256 averaging carry with the weight forward, and I move the weight back, comes down to 252, uh, and then the spin is almost 300 revs difference between weight forward, weight back. Uh, longest hit 259 with the weight forward, F7 plus. Longest hit 257 with the weight back. So you can see it's, it's a very small little average you're gonna see a difference maybe over time more than in kind of those dry testings that you do subject to how many shots you'd have to make the data capture so massive I think to see massive patterns but definitely the weight forward to weight back for me I would feel like it's gonna do about 300 difference in revs and that's showing that um, peaking height a little higher with the weight back as well compared to the weight forwards and launching that fraction a bit higher with the weight back compared to weight forward so she got fine tuning adjustment for any fitter to try and get you the right Right club let's get it out on the course just hit it on the course then it does look fantastic this blue one it does look very nice down by the ball sits pretty square blue to black face as well looks beautiful hit that good it's quite a tingy sound from Cobra and sound is something that still is in their history isn't it I mean it, it feels nice I'm gonna hit another one that was a nice little middly fade I'll take that I do feel like I could do anything with this driver it does present nicely down by the ball I'm using a more kind of duller sounding driver at the minute so this one does sound much more tingy but I think lots of people will like that again hit that good middle left just fading back nicely Let's get up there and see how they've done. That felt really, really good. Two good drives, both hitting fairway. Did feel nice, this club. I'm just gonna zap back. Now the tree just behind the tee we were hitting off is 275, so I think this one's going about 270. This one about 267, so with a bit of roll, that's doing pretty good. So jumped onto the second, we're gonna finish with a bit of an accuracy test. I'm liking the color of this. I think Cobra fans will like it. Movable weights on the bottom serve their purpose for the fitters. It's a good all round solid driver. Let's see if I can hit a fairway with it. I do like the fact that these lower spinning models are staying at 460 head check nowadays as well. I've gone that way. All right, over the corner of these trees is the shot. Oh, that's a ripper. Slightly towed it, but that's a pretty good line. Let's get up there and see how it's done. I do like the feel of that. The sound is a little tingier than what I'm kind of going for now, but it does feel good. So walking out to see what I can find up here. I'm liking F7 Plus. I like the looks. 
It's just hard, isn't it? The driving market's so full and knowing where to spend your money and no one's really making a bad club anymore. And I don't know if I say that anymore as if they used to. They're, I don't think they ever used to. It's just that people never properly tested it because you leave it to the magazines. They gave gold, gold and gold to everything, didn't they? Subject to who's spending the advertising money with them, which really, I don't know why anyone forgives them for that stuff, to be honest. But anyway, it's an interesting one. Let's go and see what it looks like. I think this is a good driver for anyone who wants to dial in that little bit of fitting, but what driver out there doesn't do that? You know, there's a part of me that thinks it doesn't really do anything that any other driver doesn't. So are we only talking here about brand alliances? And possibly we are. It's here on the fairway. I was over there looking on the right, but it's actually come back more than I thought. This cut hole, you can go a bit further right than you want with this club. I like the looks. It feels good. It's a little tingier than where I want it, but you would have asked me last year, I might have wanted it that tingy. And that's when it comes down to sound stroke feel golfers are fickle and that's what often companies are playing with maybe what people like the trends are going with i think lots of cobra fans will like it it looks cobra stylish which they really do excel in non-cobra golfers going over to this one well go and test it for yourself and let me know post comments down below i'm not sure if it will drag people over to the brand i hope it does it's a good solid brand but will it post those comments let me know pretty good results 